This is Chris Waddams here with Philip Bowes and Barry Smith, ahead of Philip's um, final eliminator for the English Super Lightweight title against Nathan Dow on the 25th of this month. Um, you just finished training. Um, how, how's it all going? How, how is training camp going? Yeah, it's going good, you know. Like, the training the camp's been fine. You know, I mean, everything's coming together. Um, I'm looking for a good night on the 25th. Got a few people coming up um, from London. And... Um, yeah, just gonna go and handle business. Okay, so yeah, you say you say you're taking a few people up. It's it's a long way to go for yeah. for a lot of your friends. On fans. a Friday night as well. Like, yeah. Because of Saturday, it would be so more much more convenient. But I mean, I was meant to fight last week Saturday. This opportunity came up. Um, my manager phoned me, asked me to want to fight Nathan Dell. As soon as I heard the name, I looked at his records, saw twenty nine. I was like, yeah, we take the fight, Jimmy. Um, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind to take the fight. I wasn't anxious. I wasn't scared. I wasn't. You know, bothered about the fight. I took the fight, you know, with open arms. Okay, so you're saying he's 20 and 0, he's unbeaten, yeah. um, former IBF youth world champion. What does that even mean? I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, you being a world champion, a youth world champion, means not odds. I mean, he didn't really, he didn't beat anyone. You know what I mean? I mean, I was really respectful to him at the weigh-in and the press conference. Everything was fine, and then I saw an interview the other day. Saying that he's gonna knock me out in the eighth or ninth round, like if you saying a joke, like this ain't a game, like do you know what I mean? Like I was, I was very, you know, humble, respectful, you know, um, to him and his team. Yeah, you know I mean, still humble, I'm humble, respectful to his team, but you know, you shouldn't be going around stealing and knock me out in the eighth or ninth round because I'm not a game, I'm not a joke. You know what I mean? Like I've only stopped once by Joe Hughes, who's a very good fighter, and you know, I mean, the things that went wrong that night, and um, you know, to for you to say that you're gonna knock me out. Eighth and that round, I'm not happy about that at all. You know, I, mean? I was very respectful what you said. Everyone could see at the press conference how humble I was, but to say you would have knocked me out, that's really pissed me off. Okay, so Sam, I mean, I was I was going to bring up the press conference because I've I've seen the footage. It was a uh, like you said, it was very respectful. Yeah. Um, but like you just said, there was things. There's things that's been said since. Um, what did you get of the gauge of the um, of Nathan and and the halls? Because that's where the uh, press conference was held. That's where the fight's going to be. What did What did you think of the? Yeah, you know, I thought it was venue? an unusual venue to be fighting in. Do you know what I mean? It's a church. Um, do you know what I mean? I'm a religious man. Do you know what I mean? I'm from a Christian faith, so for me, it's good. To, it's a blessing to be fighting in a church. But I mean, um, yeah, I'm just not really happy about the disrespectful comment about him not me out. I'm really not happy with that. That's the only thing. That's my only gripe. The press conference was fine. The noise people were fine. Merv Turner's a great guy. He was, he was fine as well. You know what I mean? Graham Everett was very respectful. Nathan was um, very respectful. But then when I saw, you know, the interview after, saying he's going to win with a knockout eight, eighth and nine round, you shouldn't be saying that against people like me. Come I'm not a game. You know, I'm not a joke. I'm not, I'm not a journeyman. You know what I mean? This is a live opponent. This is someone that's actually coming to your back garden to beat you. Not to fold up and die. You know what I mean? It's not where it is. I'm going to the Lions then. And I've quoted it before, you know what I mean? Daniel in the Bible went to that lion's den and God closed the lion's mouth and Daniel came out victorious. And that's going to be me, you know what I mean? But I said, my, my biggest gripe is you should never say you'll knock something out. Because if you fall a banana and peel, you're going to be very shocked. Uh, so, well, going on. this is so different to the footage from the uh, press conference. There's, there's definitely a bit of needle now. Um, it's... It's taking you back up to a championship level where you obviously believe you should be. Yeah. Um, if and when you get past Nathan and you get to the title level, will you be looking to avenge your two losses that you've got on your record? Yeah, you know, me and Johnny Cohen are, are, um, are really good mates. I mean, he's helped me you know, in preparation to this, um, with this fight against Nathan Dow. So, I mean, I mean, that's something that me and Johnny will obviously talk about, my team will talk about. Um, Johnny, um, obviously Joe Hughes is the one that took my own in the first place and he's the one that um, I'll be looking to avenge you know what I mean first and foremost but you know I'd like to get ahead of myself I have to take one step at a time one fight at a time and at the moment Nathan Doe is the one that I'll be speaking of ok that's fine that's fair enough um, Barry so you're training Philip ahead of the uh, fight um, how 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 far do you think Philip can go and do you think they've underestimated him in Norwich Took a big fight on there with Philip. I, I, I know they took a big fight with Philip. They've, they're taking a big chance with Philip, you know. But um, with me personally, if I was any part of the other team, I never would have took this fight, Philip, because 
Philip is better than he looks. You know, yeah, I said when he sparred him, and I mean, the sparring we've been having for this has been sensational. And I'll be honest, it's the fittest and the strongest I've ever seen Philip, and the best he's ever looked in the gym. I can't remember. We all, we all know what, what Philip's got on his day. He can really turn it on. But this, now, he knows he's got to turn this on there. Yeah, he knows. He's, everything's on the line. We, we're going into their back garden, you know. Fair play to us. We, we're going to go there and we're going to go and do a number on him. You're confident that you'll do a number on him. Won't won't, won't just be a simple I'm, point listen, swing. Listen, listen, he's got a great team around him with Graham and whatever around him. And I mean, he's with the Walshies, you know what I'm saying? He's got a great team around him. You know, they're not stupid, but Philip is just... I, I believe, this, this is my opinion. I think there's another level above him. You know what I'm saying? He's been there, he's done his rounds, you know what I'm saying? You know I mean? He's got a good amateur background behind him. He's, he's, he's ready to go. He's ready to go, you know, and it will be a good fight. We'll all shake hands after and whatever, you know what I'm saying? But we're ready to go. Okay, that's good. It's good to hear. Um, so, Philip, going, going back to you and your um, your uh, build up to the fight. Barry just said he's he's not seen you look this good yeah. before. Do you do you feel that you're that level above in the build up to this one? Yeah, you know, as I said, you know, I didn't have no hesitations in this fight, taking this fight. You know, I I took the fight straight away. It wasn't someone that said that I was looked at and I thought, oh my god. Should I take this fight? Um, uh, can you beat me? You know what I mean? Can I beat him? I wasn't... I didn't second-guess myself. I didn't second-guess my team. You know what I mean? I just told Barry, I said, Coach, what do you think? He's like, yeah, man, like, we'll take that fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't really something that we really um, had to confirm about. You know what I Confirm about, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I said, you know, we'll get, we'll get in there 25th of November. Do what we got to do, and I said, you know, I'm, I'm not a disrespectful guy, so I'm not going to say I'm going to knock him out. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to win. So by any means necessary, as Malcolm X said, I will win. That's good, Com- confident talk. It's, it's good to hear. Um, I can't really think of anything else I need to say. So, um, is there anyone you want to thank in the build-up? Any sponsors, people like that? No, I don't really thank you know no sponsor or anything like that. I like to have a thank you know my manager Mickey Moo. I'd like to give a shout out to Mickey Elliott because after you know I lost to Johnny Cole, Mickey Elliott really um put many shows and you know built me back up again in the sense mm. of you know I had two losses back to back, you know anything could have been possible. I could have said to myself I don't want to box no more. He got me up there, you know what I mean. So he I got to give a special mention to Mickey Elliott um for getting many shows, keep me active, um yeah and basically my manager Mickey Moo for obviously. Be my manager, getting me the fight, and um, yeah, Mervyn Turner for giving me this opportunity also. That's fair enough. And um, just going on to different stuff here, Barry. You've said you've got a couple of other big fights coming up for your stable. Do you want to mention any of them? Well, hopefully we'll have Larry Akindayo. He'll be hopefully that will be for the combo very soon. Um, we've got Shiro's going out. You know, with this fight out now, he's been managing for the Southern Area title. You know, so, yeah, we've, we've got a lot of things going. We've got a few young kids pushing through, like Tony Butterjee, Bradley Smith. You know, we've got we've got, well, we've got the Uptons down here. You know, remember saying, at the Uptons, English champion. Paul the Uptons, Irish champion. And we've got Sonny Upton, who will be fighting for an English title very soon. So, yeah, so we're very busy here, you know what I'm saying? So me and Harry Andrews, we're working really hard with all these guys, you know. But but first of all, we want to concentrate on this guy, you know, to get him where he rightly de- deserves to be. And that's where we're going. Okay, brilliant. Well, um, thanks for your time, guys. And uh, good luck on the 25th. Thank Thank you.